is. I said, do you know what time it is? It's time for KP. KP and the news. That's right. It's news time, baby. That's right. It's news time. And here we go. We're going to get started uh, right away here. And, uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, going to throw this out there. And today is the day that they're going to be doing rallies all the way across country. Uh, anybody that's, that feels like they want to support support the uh, impeachment process, and uh, I'm all for that. So what I'm going to try to do later on is head over to one of the uh, rallies here in my city, and I'm going to try to film that, and uh, I'm going to try to post that up later on. But uh, get out there, folks. Every city, you don't have no no excuse. Get on out there and uh, uh, support the impeachment process because we got to get this done. Okay, here we go. Miss USA, Miss America, Miss Teen USA, and Miss Universe are all black women for the first time ever. The year 2019 has definitely been one of, one for for the books uh, for black women in beauty pageants. The South uh, South Africa's uh, Tunzi being crowned Miss Universe 2019. Now all black women reign in, in the four major pageants for the first time ever. Last week, uh, Tunzi joined the record-breaking history 2019 Miss uh, Chelsea Chris, Miss Teen USA, Garris, and uh, 2019 Miss America Franklin, who also hold the crown in their respective pageants. It was really history worth celebrating as just uh, winning top pageants was challenging for black women due to the rampant discrimination. It was only in 1977 uh, that a black woman, Janelle uh, Commissioning from Trinidad and Tobago won the, won the Miss Universe. Uh, Vanessa Williams was the first black Miss America crown in 1983. Carol Ann Gist was the first black USA in 1990. And Janelle Bishop was the first Black uh, Miss Black Teen in 1991. More than beauty, the Black Women Pageant winners each have advocacies that aim to positively impact their fellow man. Franklin, who is uh, an opera singer, hopes to inspire the youth through music. Garris hopes to defy beauty standards by embracing her natural hair. Chris, is, who is an attorney, is working to promote criminal justice reform and helping wrongly convicted prisoners for free. And Tunzi, on the other hand, is working to fight against gender-based violence. Former USA, uh, U.S. Uh, First Lady Michelle Obama expressed her pride over these women's accomplishments on Twitter uh, using the Black Girl Magic hashtag. Uh, but newsflash, newsflash, newsflash. Newsflash. Are you ready for this newsflash? Are you ready for this? Here we go with number five. Y'all just talked about the four. This is number five. Miss Jamaica crowned 2019 Miss World become the first, uh, well, the fifth black woman this year to win a major pageant. So that's five major pageants that black women have won this year. And uh, yet another black woman has won a prestigious international beauty pageant, Miss Jamaica. Tony Ann Singh was recently crowned Miss World 2019, becoming the fifth black woman this year to win a major pageant. To that little girl in St. Thomas, Jamaica, and all the girls around the world, please believe in yourself. Please know that you are worthy and capable of achieving your dreams. This crown is not mine, but yours. You have... She graduated from Florida State University with a degree in psychology and women's studies. She also planned to attend medical school before the pageant. During the pageant, sing while the audience with her own rendition of Whitney Houston's I Have Nothing on the talent portion and our answers to question question and answer round. I think I represent something special, a generation of women that are pushing forward to change the world, Singh answered the question of British uh, journalist Piers Morgan. Singh is the fourth representative from Jamaica they brought home the Miss World Crown since it started in 1959. Jamaica has previously won the title in 63, 7, 1976, and 1993. Singh's win came after a historic win of black women in most prestigious beauty pageants. Uh, the Miss Universe 
Miss USA, Miss Teen, and Miss America. So this is that's number five. Five. So what we've been trying, you know, what we've been saying the whole time, you know, black women are beautiful, black is beautiful. So you guys just finally picking up on it and, you know, hey, you're on the late show, buddy. All right, here we go. It's another feel-good story. From Section 8 to owning multiple homes. Meet the speak, uh, speaker who flipped the script. On the heels of his new book, Financially Irresponsible, author Rakeem, Rakeem uh, Sabri says that closing the financial literacy gap can be done with the establishment of a, of a team. Each one teach one, he says. Each one reach one. If you, if you know, teach. And if you, and if you don't know, learn. It's a mantra he uh, mentioned he grew up with and declares he embodies today. Having captured the, uh, the TEDx Hartford audience's full attention, Rakeem uh, Sabri, now uh, two times author, speaker, and nonprofit co founder, is declaring that conversations around financial education should be had in every classroom, at every dinner table, and during every holiday. And I agree with that. Start businesses. Don't just, just go out there working for people. Start your own business businesses. Um, Ra Rakim is a millennial African American who ha who's accomplished financial goals like attaining the coveted 800 FICO uh, credit score to purchasing his first home under 30. He mentions these were not things discussed growing up in his Mount Vernon, New York. His hope is to inspire others like him not only to become financially literate, but, uh, but also to share what they know with others. Rakeem's book is packed full of advice, tips, guides, and powerful insights that many people are going to find useful and empowering. For more information about the book, please visit here. Uh, he can be reached on Instagram at Unlimited Investment Inquiries and is looking to connect with celebrities and influencers who share the passion to spread uh, financial literacy. So uh, for more information, you can visit his official website at www.rakimsabree.com. That's R-A-H-K-I-M-S-A-B-R-E-E.com. www.rakimsabree.com. So get in contact with that brother and uh, try to get some information. If you, you know, you're trying to get started on a business, get your money right. The money right. Oh, all this, all this education that you can get online, it's no excuse for you to not be financially literate. So get your game up. Get your game up. That's right. It's news time, baby. Create what you don't have. If you don't have it, create it. And number one key: share your information. Lift up. Share your information with others. Lift each other up. Peace.